Welcome back. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and uh, could your home use a dash of heart-themed color? Why not? We are kicking off Getting Crafty today with some love on a canvas. Amy Lada is here. It's always great to see you. And so Valentine's Day, just a couple of weeks away, it's hard to believe we're in February right now. I know, right? but January felt so long, so it I'll did. take it. <laughs> yeah, it did, and you're looking very festive today with the red. So. What are you showing us here in terms of the craftiness of all of this? So today we're going to look at how to make a really simple Valentine heart canvas. Okay. And like you said earlier, all you need is a blank canvas. Okay. You need some markers, and we'll talk about which ones in a mm -hmm. second. You need some liquid glue. Yes. And some loose glitter, which is my favorite. You're going to be finding it here in the studio for months. Well, and thinking I was going to say, now this is a great project <laughs> for my kids to do, right? Because we're always looking for, for something for the kids while they're sure. all kind of stuck at home a little bit. Uh, but, but this scares me because I don't want it all over my house. But we can be neat with it, right? I will show you a trick for being neat with <laughs> okay, it. Okay, all right. Walk I us promise. through the steps, Amy. Okay, so the first thing that <laughs> yeah. we are going to do, um, you can see my canvas here was an 8 by 8 So I did four rows of four hearts. This okay. canvas is a little smaller, so I'm doing three rows of three hearts. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna take some markers, and I'm using what's called Tombow ABT Pro, which okay. means it's an alcohol-based marker, and that makes it permanent, which is really ah. fun, so it can write on all different kinds of surfaces. Mm -hmm. You could also use a paint pen if you want, or a permanent marker, but I like how this gives you sort of that transparent marker look instead of opaque. And you, you can get these at a craft store? You can. You okay. can get them online. You can get them at Michael's. Um, so all you're going to do is do different colors of hearts and slightly different shapes. So okay. some that are short and squatty, some tall and skinny, some where one side is higher than the other. So we're just getting some variety on there. Looks good. And then we get into the fun part. Now we get into the fancy part. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so we're going to take our liquid glue. This is Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, and I like it because it has this tiny tip. Nice. And and that lets me kind of draw with it. So all we're going to do is we're going to put it on our canvas and make some embellishments. So like I'm going to do a smaller heart inside of my larger heart here. Yeah. You can see on the example some of the other things that I did. I did some swirls, some polka dots, and anything you like really. And all you're going to do is sprinkle that loose glitter on top and the glue is going to hold it in place. Now what you're going to want to do or tell your kids to do uh -huh. is you're going to put scrap paper or newspaper underneath, <laughs> yeah. and we're going to gently shake ah. and tap that right off. Okay. And then it's here on your scrap paper. And what you can actually do is you can funnel it right back into the container. I love it because everything that you make is always so neat. Now, even if I tried <laughs> to do that, it would not be that neat. But uh, with the kids, that's a great tip because then you can not waste any, too. Absolutely, you know. yep. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing for each of your hearts, just decorating them however you want to decorate them. Nice. And then because you know, Brett, that hand lettering is my specialty, oh, so yes. of course I had to get some lettering on here. Oh, yes. All I did was I printed the word love at the bottom, and then I did my faux calligraphy script across on top of it. And, and something else we talk about, I mean, and I see you on Instagram too, that looks very neat and complicated. It's not. It's I mean, you not. can do it. It's so easy. Yep. You know, Amy and Addison, I did it on here once. That's right. Where, yeah. yeah, we just <laughs> write in the script and then you find the downstroke, make it thicker, color it in, and you have this beautiful effect. So you can display this uh, at your home or even give it as a gift, right? You sure can, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to put mine up at home, but you could certainly give that to somebody as a Valentine present. And I think what we tend to do is when our kids make something like that, we store it with the other Valentine's decorations, put it out year after year, and then you can kind of look at it and, and really cherish it. Uh, you're going to be teaching an online class tonight? I am, and this is a craft for all ages. So okay. I, I made mine myself, so yeah, it's definitely for grown-ups and for yeah. kids. I'm going to be teaching um, online. It's a national class through Michael's stores and Tombow USA. Wow. So all you have to do is go on the Michael's website, mm -hmm. and you're going to search their classes, okay. and it'll come up Valentine Heart Canvas. It's one of the first ones on the page that comes up because it's today, 5 p.m. Eastern time, and you just click book now. It's totally free. Then once you book, they'll send you the link so you can join in. It's a Zoom conference, and you can join in, and you can create right along with me step by step. Perfect. Thank you so much, Amy, uh, and we'll be looking for that tonight. Still ahead, something that our crafting queen